Hello, brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how are you doing, man? I'm back again. So, I'm still in the northern part of Ghana, Tamale. And uh, over here, you know that they have the most organic and they help us seasoning and uh, leaves food in Ghana. Okay, they are the strongest people in Ghana. No doubt about that. So, in front of me are some tens and uh, some hundreds of, what do you call it, seasonings and um, leaves for cooking. Okay, so this is Madame Amina. She, she cooks the, the typical northern food over here in the northern region. So you can check her out on Facebook and that uh, man, you love her. Make sure you book her and uh, our cuddle. Anyway, I would love her to explain uh, the, the benefits of this seasonings and leaves over here. So starting from my left, you know, please, what is this one? So we call this atabla, atabla. or atana shiba, okay. which is just um, essentially cassava leaves. Ah, okay, cassava leaves, yeah. okay. And what's the, look at name again. Atabla. Atabla. Tabla or atanashiba. Okay, so this is cassava leaves. Cassava leaves. Okay, dry cassava leaves. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, atabila. So is it for soups or you for seasoning? I'm for soups. Ah, for soups. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. for soups. Oh, okay. So okay. okay. So these three are the same. Ah, these three are the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dry cassava. Seeds. Okay. Mm. And how about this one? So this is brown rice. Local like, rice. Uh, indigenous brown rice. Yeah, it's from for, yeah. okay. For wache, okay. it's mostly like it's suitable for wache because it's brown. Brown, okay. But you don't want to add the, the color. Leaves. Yeah, you can just use this with your wache and you still have it brown. Okay. Yeah. So this is a typical rice, local rice in Ghana. A lot of you guys don't know about this rice. When you come to the north, this is the kind of rice they eat over here. And we have plant, a variety of variety, okay. different flavors, rice. different textures. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but basically, so this is a local rice, okay? Mm. It's local food. <laughs> mm. Okay. And, uh... So that's the color for watching. For the what? Okay. Monsi. Monsi. Yeah. The sorghum leaves. Yeah, sorghum. Um, oh, okay. So if you know how watching is done, you add this this leaf that changes the color or give the brownish color. This is the flower. Mm. Okay. Okay. So here. So we have nidi. Nidi. Nili. Nili. Um, mom used call it nili, nili. But, but it's nili. N we nili. call it nili. Anti lili. This yeah. is anti lili. So we roast it and then we mill it into a paste, okay. more like granite paste. Okay. Before granite was introduced to northerners, I mean, granite is not indigenous. Yeah. Peanut is not yeah. indigenous. Yeah. This is what like we're, our ancestors were, we're using. Eating. Our okay. grandparents were using. People still use it when 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 it's prescribed for them medicinally. Okay. Like, medicinal. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so basically this is like a melon seed, uh, for real real crying. Mm. This is what they so they toast it and then they, they mail it to become like a, a paste, paste and yeah. they use it for soup or whatever. Yeah, right? soups. soups. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so next year what is this one? So we have vapum. It's from a three. Vapum. It's a flower three. Okay. So this is like a bottom the bottom of the flower. Uh huh. So it's like a pour, and then you remove the 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 the, <laughs> the bottom of it, okay. dry it up and then you pound it into a um a powder, a powder food, okay. And then you use it for your soups. Okay. It's um very similar to dry okra. So is it slimy? It's slimy, very slimy. Wow. Yeah. And what's it called again? Vapum. Vapum. Yeah. This is vapum. Uh, is it? Is this, this is where it leaves? No, it, it, so it's a pot. A pot. Okay, yeah. the, the pot, okay. Pot. Man, vapum. Okay, it, it looks like this. And it's very slimy as well, as mm -hmm. she just it's said. It's slimy, yeah. Wow. For soup as well. So we have like... Three, four soups <laughs> over here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So what about this one? So this is lansaya. Lansaya. An indigenous um, bean. Okay. It's very big. <laughs> lansaya. This yeah. is lans. They're very huge, <laughs> huge beans. Um, okay. You can just show them. Lansaya. Yeah, it's a bean, a bean kind of yeah. yeah. Because that, that's the eye. So when you cook it, the, uh -huh. um, it, it goes off. off. The brown goes off, okay. and then it gives you this um creamy bean. Okay. Yeah, but the texture is more like egg yolk. Okay. So we don't cook it like we mix it with um cow pea. Cow pea. Yeah, we cook it with cow pea so that you have pieces of it in it. Really? So I'm told. I've I'm told that when I've made it before with rice though, but I'm told that when you cook it alone and then you eat, it has this um um. I don't know how to put it. The or make it, to make it very dizzy. Okay, okay. So you, do, you should not cook it alone. alone. So if I have the cow pee to it, it's so yeah. it's so yeah. What do you call it? it Give that okay. Neutralize that. it. Wow, yeah. cow pee. Man, I'm I'm curious to try this cow yeah. pee recipe. <laughs> wow. And uh, when it's boiled, uh, what, do you use for cook uh, soup or what? So I just use it for soup. Okay, so you have to grind it. it and then uh -huh. they blend it and oh, okay. add it to light soup. Oh, okay, okay. But traditionally, the way we prepare it is just with cow pee. You okay. add it to cow pee. Then you eat it like that, like beans. We just eat it on my beans and garlic. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you have to cook this first for a long time before you add your cow that, pee. Oh, because okay. it takes a longer time to, to turn that. Wow, yeah. wow. 
Cowpea recipe. <laughs> Lansaya, okay. So over here, what do you have here in this So calabash? this is the um, dried spring onion. So this is a spring onion that you know is dried and the, the, the green part is being dried. So what, yes. why dry? What, what do you use for? As a spice. A spice, okay, okay, okay. For flavoring soups and then stews. Oh, okay, and can you, can you blend this one as well? No, we don't blend it. We just pound it. Yeah, I pound it, okay. Wait, once you, you can tell, it's, it's, very, yeah, yeah, it's very dry. It's very okay. dry. Okay, okay. But what, you can also soak it and add it to your soups or rice. Okay. Mostly rice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You soak it, you just add the raw one like this. Wow. When it softens, it's nice, like, gives it a nice flavor. texture. Okay. Yeah. okay. Amazing. Yeah. And this over here? So this is... This is Biaba, I'm coming. So this is the Sapirwa. The Sapirwa, okay. Sapirwa is a wild green. Okay. It's already a wild um, edible leaf. Okay. <laughs> grows spontaneously when it's rainy season. Okay. So I collected it during the uh, last rainy season okay. and I dried it. Okay. But it's also a, like soupy leaf. Oh, okay. We use it for soups. Oh, okay. And yeah, we cook it for soups. It's also slimy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I'll, just in case uh, the prayer comes in, because I'm in and, uh, the Zogo community and are very close over here, there's a mosque, okay? Yes. So, it's understandable anyway. It is what it is. Uh, what about this one? So, this is um, I was separating them. So, this is biaba. 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 Biaba is also a plant. Okay. A traditional plant, medicinal, also for soups. Okay. So, I've not had it this, this before. Okay. You know, I told you I was still researching, asking old folks, First, okay. and they were educating me on all that. So, they told me about this herb and they took me to collect some. Okay. And I dried it up. So, I've not had this. Okay. But then, when it was fresh, it, it had a very nice smell. Okay. So, they told me it's medicine. I don't know what ailment it kills. Okay. But it's, also, it's also used for soups. Okay. The press, sorry. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. But it seems you, it's only the northern part you can find this kind of leaves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. South, it's like South is not all there is, but we don't know. Maybe you don't know. Okay. Maybe you don't know because a lot, a lot is being lost and forgotten. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. even here, I've not even had enough. There are a lot I, I'm yet to collect. So to, to find yeah. out. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so over here. So this is... um. Ah, so this is um, Bandoba. Bandoba. Yeah. And what, what's the English name for that? No, we have Bandoba here. This is Bandu Urugu. So the names are very similar. close. Okay. And I want it's Bandoba and Bandu Urugu. Bandu Urugu, Bandoba. Ban Bandu Urugu, Bandoba. <laughs> So, what's so this is the scent leaves. Scent leaves. This okay. is what Southerners call scent leaves. Okay. We call it banzo orugu. Ba banzo orugu. You know you can use it for soups and also for medicinal purposes. Wow. I dried it up wow. because I can't have the fresh ones all the time. Okay. So this is banzo orugu, also medicinal, very bitter. Okay. This actually has fruits. Okay. It's a creeping plant, so okay. you can see. Yeah. It's a creeping, but it has fruits. The fruits are edible, but the leaves are bitter. like yeah, bitter it's for medicines. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Medicine. And are they also for soups? People use it for soups, soups okay. like bitter, bitter leaves, okay, bitter yeah, okay. but not all the time. Okay, yeah. so basically, this soup, soup, soup ones are just like making your palm nut or uh, in the adding in or palm or your uh, palm soup and adding in your contumbre and all those stuff. Mm -hmm. So this goes inside your soup. Okay. And it all have is is um distinctive or unique um flavors and flavors taste. and taste yeah. and yeah. Wow. Okay. Next year. So have the bonsalugu. Bonsalugu. It's called bonsal. Others call it bungu salugu. Okay. Bungu. Okay. So this is very slimy. Actually, when you try washing this one, is fresh. You end up having a jelly water. Wow. The, the water will just turn to gel. Wow. It's very slimy. Wow. So this is bonsal. Also Bonne. used for soup. So Super. it's very slimy. The soup is very slimy. Wow. Yeah. So it's more slimy than okro. Than okro. I'm when well, you wash your okro, okro, you have a jelly water. This wow. will give you a jelly water. <laughs> then, then, is that the one that they use? That they, they, they eat, I did pito in Bolega, and they, they, there's this branch tree that's very slimy. Wow. They used to mix the pito. I don't know that one. <laughs> anyway. I don't know that one. Okay, so what about this powder over here? So we have buri. Buri? This is a buri. Like, it's also a wild plant that has fruits. Okay. And there's a yam. It has a yam. The and tuba then, of yeah, tuba, yeah. So the tuba is what we dried and then you, you, you mail it. Yeah, we mail it. There is it's so used to make um sort of like what we had earlier. Uh -huh. Yeah, but this is actually a mampuisi meal. Okay. Yeah, I've had it before once, but a very long time ago. So when I was collecting all these, I was introduced, it, reintroduced yeah. to it, and I was given. I'm yet to make a meal out okay, of it, okay. but it's called burui. It's a tuba. So okay. it is a tuba powder. Okay. Yeah, tuba flour, tuba okay. powder. So you can, you can say like a yam powder kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Although okay. it's called burui. Burui. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one. So this is called gumbuau. 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 Okay. So gumbuau is from the kapok tree or kapok tree. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. So it's from the cotton tree. Cotton. Okay, cotton tree. Okay. Yeah. So the seeds are from the pot of the cotton. Cotton. Okay. And then we use it 
like as a spice, okay. we call it canton. So we process this into canton. Okay. So this is the raw seeds. Okay. But we don't use this to cook when it's raw. Okay. But we can roast this and then chew. Wow. Yeah, we roast this and then we chew. Wow. But we process it into canton and then canton is used for various soups. Wow. As a spice or a flavor. It's very nice. Canton is very nice. Wow. Wow. At a time, actually, most one is even sick, and they are prescribing um, herbal medicine for the person. This, this is, is it's very essential. Cancer is very essential in, in, in herbal treatment. Traditional wow. dogomba herbal treatment. Cancer is very essential wow. because you can't add peanuts. You can't. Mostly, they will ask you to use neri paste, okay. or they will ask you to use canton. canton. So the canton will like serve as the paste, and then you add your other Stuff to yeah, condiments to oh. make the soup. So that's gumbwa. Gumbwa. Okay, so here. Um, is this, it, this, it, this is it, popular, KKZ, <laughs> granite powder, okay, granite okay, powder, okay, okay, yeah, so okay. that's it. Okay. And uh, this one? So this is um, black bambara beans. Okay, black bambara beans, yeah. okay. Mm. Wow, <laughs> and you use for what? Black bambara beans, if you just cook that one to bar, True, truthfully, people use it for spiritual purposes. Okay. Yeah, spiritual purposes. Oh, okay. Although you can also just cook that one. Okay. So it doesn't come, they don't cultivate it like this. It comes one one in the normal bambaram bees, then they pick them out. Oh, okay. Actually, just bought it. They pick okay. them and then they sell them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like a bad nut. <laughs> yeah, man, we have a lot to go. Okay, what about this one? So this is the wild ayoyo. Ayoyo, yeah, okay. Wild ayoyo. So this one grows by itself. Yeah, we call it um, salam vomochu. Salam vomochu. Or sa salam vow. Sa sa salam vow. Because wow. no one, no one cultivates or grows this. It's it just by goes by itself. by itself when it's rainy season. Wow. You just go to the bush and then you collect it. Wow. So it's it's are you is it wild are you? Yeah, wild are you you? Okay. And then we also have it, um, so for soup, right? Also for, for soup. soup. Yeah, okay. for soup. This. So we have um the um baobab. Baobab. To carry. Okay, this is right. baobab. Yeah, baobab. So when this, I have a little idea. When you blend this, you get kuka, kuka soup. Yeah. So but when it's fresh, yeah, it's called. To carry. To carry. Yeah. So this is baba leaf, dried baba leaf. Many people don't know we cook the fresh leaves. Oh, oh really? But we cook the fresh leaves. Oh, okay. Who turns red the following morning? Okay. You think it's blood. Really? When you cook the fresh leaves tonight or, or in the evening, the following day, it becomes red. Oh, you can't eat it? Oh, you eat it. I like it. Man. You like it when it's red? Oh, man. Does it give you blood? Extra blood? I don't know about that. <laughs> I, just, I just like it. Okay. <laughs> I just like wow. it, man. So the bow bow tree leaves. Bow, bow tree leaves uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, tree leaves, okay. That one? So this is um wild um bra. Bra, okay, the yeah. bra I, I after yeah. the bra food, yeah. yeah so this is ago. wild one. Okay. The domesticated one is the one they call bito. Bito, and, okay. But, yeah, but this is wild. No one cultivates this. When it, it's rainy season, it goes by is, yeah, you go to collect that one. Man, not in region, the land wow. over here, I don't know what how God did it, but here <laughs> like some great great plantation over here they have baba tree over here they have sheer nuts that also grows by itself like a lot a lot but that one that tree as well you can't find another tree in cape coast or Accra. you can't find sheer nut tree in Accra because of the the temperature and everything like anyway um so we have this that's a bitter leaf bitter leaf okay this is not we call it shuaka in the band Sh- shuaka shuaka ah shuaka eh. or shuaka <laughs> <laughs> so you all know this one even if you don't know okay yeah bitter then, leaf okay yeah, shuaka. so now we, we have puporentia or um gengare gengare or puporentia so it's, yeah it's a wild pricky plant leaf so all the wild ones are the one that grows by itself yeah it's, uh, so you, you can either use it for guara. Okay, guara. The one you yeah. just did. Yeah, the one okay. that we used. So um, like I said, I don't know. When I asked, they told me it was pumperentia. Okay. But they told me it was gangari. Okay. But I have gangari. You okay. saw the leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the tender ones. Oh, okay. So these are like large leaves mm, so, of it. Okay. Yeah. So pumperentia or gangari. Okay. That's what I was told. Okay. Yeah. So now we have um the red millet. Red millet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So good. So good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And now we have Dwari. Dwari. Dwari is from the Dawa Dawa theory. Okay. Before you get the seeds, there's this fruit around the seeds that you have to eat before you oh, get yeah, the Dawa yeah, Dawa. Yeah. So that's the powder of it. Wow. We use it for porridge, like more like a dessert. Okay. So we make porridges out of this. Which is very nice. You don't need to add sugar. Okay. So I was trying to preserve this, but because it's um organic. Um, insects or animals will also live in. Let me okay. just say insects. Okay, so they come inside. They... I, had, I had large quantity of this. I was trying to preserve. They won't. Okay. Meanwhile, it's not, 
and air type something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the dawa dawa fruit. Okay, that, okay. Dawa dawa fruit. And uh, now we have tantina. Tantina. So I believe this is more of like gogomi. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, the, the, this thing from the um, the palm tree. Uh, akokono. Yeah, akokono. Edible bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we have this, and then we have chama. Chama. Okay. Chama is the uh, termites. Okay. okay. Termite, you know, okay. Lordness eat termites, right? Sa. Roasted. Damn, because it's out of season. Okay. Like termites, we only. Get <laughs> <laughs> oh, like out, outside. We get them doing this. So tamales are very nice. Mm. This, this when you eat it raw, it has a similar taste. No, this I've heard this now. I've not yet tried some, but I'm oh, eager to try a fresh I've been, one. I've been snacking on this. Uh, okay, like that. Wow. I snack on this, Taylor. Okay. Mm. This is a friend say. Uh, what do you call it? Um, so, so this is not even roasted. This is dried. Mm. Mm. Wow. So tamales when they roasted. They Wow. But you have tamales sometimes, and then frogs. Frogs? Mm -hmm. This frogs? Are you Chinese? Mm -hmm. <laughs> frogs, but that's um, the kumbungu people. Oh, but it's nice though. Mm -hmm. it's I nice. said it's like fish, smoked dry fish. You know, right? <laughs> wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So as for the frogs, though they fry it and eat it as protein, mm -hmm. mostly my grandmother, Used to dry it and pound it into a powder form, add it to soups. Wow. It was nice. Wow. It was nice. <laughs> wow. So, so anyway. far, so good. That's what we have here. Anyway. That's what I have here. Amazing. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's been like we have had almost like more than 10 sessions of uh, leaves for soup, and uh, all this belongs to one region or one community. Okay, Dagbani. Is it Dagbani, right? Dagbani. Northern region. Northern region, Tamale. Amazing food, healthy food from the northern side, and man, trust me, they are really eating healthy. Umu di better, chop better. It's over here, <laughs> not the fried rice and the indomie. Trust me. Anyway, I hope you like the video and uh, you try also to have an insight or try um, uh, trying to use some of these uh, leaves for your cooking to have the change in your life as well. Man, healthy life is what we all, we all need, and also trying to promote our African food. Making sure that we don't lose them because the generation coming will not have any idea about what our forefathers were eating. Okay, so the mission is to discover and to make sure that everybody have an, a piece of the cake, you know. And everything you can do to support this mission by sharing the videos to go across board. Anyway, so thanks for watching. This is Cooking with Sinaku. I'm here with Sister Mina. And it's the Dogo. And it's the Dogo. Check out on Facebook. Yeah, I'll give the, the name on the. Uh, on the screen, so check out on the, on the Facebook and if you're in Tamale and want someone to cook local, typical local food for you, she's the best person to contact. Or call her. any comments and a contact as well. To that. Okay, so I feel like um, traditional meals are part of our tradition, like he said, and we shouldn't leave it to uh, go like that. Yeah, so we should all try to revitalize or revive them. Make sure you introduce at least a meal on your dinner ta table, yeah, yeah, to your children that, that don't know about your traditional meals, yeah, do educate them about that. Then of course, that's, that. yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing I can okay. say. A, a contact for yeah, you? Yeah, so you, we have a, a social media handle, um, Facebook is Dudugu, um, IG is Dudugu Experience, and then my contact on WhatsApp is 024-620-7738. Okay, yeah. so that's it for today. Let's meet again for Shizu Manizu. Okay, we seen. Hey, we doing what we did. Okay, we seen that cool. Okay, we seen that cool. Seen that cool. Yeah, tell me diary. Let's do this again. I'm out. One wow, peace and love. <laughs> Our coro. Yeah. Thanks for hosting me as well. I truly oh, really appreciate. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for coming.